flat bit of paper, put it round like that. But if you put a twist into it, it was discovered in the 18th century by Mobius, something quite remarkable happens. So I thought I'd get my Mobius type toys together and demonstrate them. Some of them are quite remarkable and some of them very recent discoveries too. This is something that children can do at school. They literally take that, they sellotape it like that, they cut through the middle and what happens? Well this one will open up into a large ring. The more interesting one, which I'll now demonstrate without cutting it, is when you put two twists in it. And when you cut down there, what you get is the almost a classic Mobius configuration, two linking rings, which is a most surprising discovery. And you can cut it, you can then twist it three or four or five times and get different configurations. But I think Mobius 2 is probably the most remarkable, most extraordinary. Magicians came across the idea of making um, a Mobius entertainment using this, this apparatus. You simply clip the things together. Instead of having to um, cut it and then re cup it, you just have to unzip it. That will just make two individual rings. So here's the first of the configurations. Instead of just joining them together, I have to give them a twist and then it works. So that's just two rings. Twist it over and now we're into Mobius land. We have to put this, there's another set of buttons for it to put, to push it into. If we undo that, we get, well, what do we get? Let's have a go. This is cutting through the paper, but doing it in the magician's way. We get one large ring. It's got some twists in it, but it is a very large ring. Extraordinary. That was one discovery. And the one that I really liked was the one in which you got um, a double twist, and then something very remarkable happens. And I've demonstrated it with paper already, and I'll demonstrate it now with this device. So put it together like that, and it's just two separate rings. Nothing surprising. That's the Mobius one, I call it, which I've just shown you. Put a second twist in. It's now gone twice over. And this is the one I think is most remarkable of his discoveries. If you want to do this, something extraordinary happens. It's extraordinary to me when I first came across it. You get two interlinking rings like a chain. And then three will make another figure and so on. I'll show the three in a minute and another material. So that's a lovely way for magicians to be able to perform with it because they merely have to zip it up and zip it undo it. And it's, it's miraculous. I, I love things like that. Here's a standard Mobius in which a poet has written some nice bit of poetry on it. And he insists that only when you cut through the piece, you can really read it and enjoy the poem in, in completion. So you've got to cut all the way around there and then enjoy the poetry. And of course, people like Escher made extraordinary Mobius bands and things. So lots going on in there and in the world. Then in this last year only, I've come across two other versions, which are most surprising. One is, or they're both in fact from George Hart. And it's taken, would you believe, a bagel? I've just started reading these at home. They're very nice. A little round bun, a Jewish bagel. And what he does, he treats it as something which you've got to cut through with a knife. He marks it in different places. If I mark this one, which I'll just have a go at, I have to make sure it's vegetable dye. But when you cut it through with an angle as you're going through, you end up with two rings that I've just shown you. My goodness, what an extraordinary idea. And then I suppose you add butter and jam to it and enjoy a mathematical Mobius meal. Oh, something I've got to do. Very nice idea. Well done, George. The other item which he came across, which I've only just come across very recently, was taking an O-ring, this is a rubber O-ring, a large one, and he made a device like this, which a friend of mine's made, and when you cut it through with this and twist it at the same time, you get the same thing as a bagel. And these are the versions that he made. Mobius 1, 2 and 3. Each of these, instead of cutting down the middle, you're actually twisting the pieces. And Mobius 3, this one here, this is the most surprising one, which he, he gave out. That's what happens when you bat three twists. You get a large ring, but with a cranny knot in it. Extraordinary. He, he showed it to me without mentioning Mobius and said, how did I do that? I said, you can only do that by cutting it very gently out of a slice and then rejoining after knotting it with superglue. No, no, he said, you're right about cutting it, but it hasn't been rejoined. And it hasn't. It's back to an O-ring. And when I then had a go at the Mobius 2, which is just two half twists. There's the iconic one. And the easiest one of the lot, of course, is just a single twist when you get a large ring like that. So making the myth of this 
O-ring is a wonderful thing to do. And here I've got a whole bunch of me to work and I've got a nice long one that went readings and I'm going to make a whole bunch of these in order to hand them out to friends as well. Another artisan I came across about 20 years ago, um, sort of a brilliant idea, just almost 30 years ago I invented it. He said, what happens if you don't cut down to the middle, which is what Mobius is suggesting, you cut through the paper, as it were, making a, a difference like that. I've done this with plastic paper. What do you get? Well, he did it on stainless steel ribbon, which is what he, he dealt with mostly. So here we are. Here's a large version of the same thing. It's been cut through the middle. It's like a Mobius band, but we're not going to cut it even. We're not going to go down the centre. We're really going to separate out the two layers and see what happens. Interesting, isn't it? You have to manipulate it a bit. I can get it back into a Mobius configuration just by taking that across there and pulling it and done like that. But there's a nicer, more satisfactory ending to the thing. If you open it up like this, give it a bit of a twist. And what you do now is you take it with an extra twist into what I call the minimal energy configuration. That's got the least amount of strain in it, just rings. That's how he actually made it in his, in his um, atelier. And when he actually made the final twist and woven it, there's a lovely little joining point where he gets, this is the joining point here, you've got little tiny marks here where he's got his, his little welder, which takes 800 amps of current, bang, 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 and then it's very firmly fixed. So now the game is to take it from this stage, which is the minimal energy, the least energy configuration, back into the Mobius, which has got the maximum energy. And it takes a bit of time to do it. He also did it with two rings, and he's done it with a double fist, which is called a perverse motion, and oh, so on. Brilliant idea, absolutely brilliant. So that's the Mobius. Mm, plenty more coming from it. This is what happens when a two-dimensional object becomes three-dimensional. So I'm just wondering what happens when you get a three-dimensional object and turn it into four dimensions? Mm. Hmm. Any ideas?